this is the box that I'm making to go around this unit here. It's quite a bit bigger. It's two inches all the way around. Plus a couple inches on top for BMS and all that good stuff. Breakers. So I got a top one. I'm going to punch four holes to match these threaded rods. And then they'll also get bolted on. Looking like they're all gonna go on the inside. Or actually, sorry, looking like those are going to go on the, these are gonna go on the insides because you can see that thing in there. I can't close this corner no matter what I do. So I'm gonna have to <coughs> fit all these on the inside and then this will be inside this lip here. So I just gotta shave them down a bit. They don't fit inside or they don't fit outside, so. Like you can see they're a little long. I don't know how the heck I got so far off. But I did. <clears throat> so it's pretty straightforward though, really. You just cut. I might have to cut a eighth of an inch off each side or something. This side, that side, this side, that side, and then go from there. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with it. If I just want to rivet them together, or if I'm going to bolt them together. I was thinking I want to put a hinge on here, like a full piano hinge. Then, once you take the top and bottom, you can just open it and wrap it around kind of thing instead of slipping it over top. But, we will see. I might just weld it solid. And then once you get the top and the top or the bottom cover on, you put this thing on top and then you put the top cover on and bolt it all down. And I did get the angles made as well. So these are the brackets that are gonna hold this together. And then I'll keep it another inch off the wall. Those will also get drilled to match the There will be a cover on there, so I won't have to worry about where exactly that lands. But I'm gonna put one on top and one or two on the top, facing that way, and two on the bottom, so I can. And I'll probably put whatever, at least one good anchor point on each of those. I was thinking of putting a little gusset in here too, just to stop that from bending. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. And I got the inverter to match this. It's an inverter charger. So you don't even need to have a solar system with it. Or solar panels. You can just charge it from the, the grid. And then this will have an automatic transfer switch with the inverter as well. So you can have like a, like a load panel. Like a critical loads panel. And when the grid's live it'll bypass the inverter and go straight through the inverter to the critical loads panel. But then when the AC, the grid shuts off, it'll automatically transfer to the batteries running that critical loads panel only. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. It is set up for solar or battery priority first, so. We'll see how it all turns out. I do want to get this thing maybe charging today. <coughs> Might be a separate video. Because I did get a new charge controller. Got a couple new charge controllers actually. But I got the new Make Sky Blue version 119. Which has a Bluetooth monitoring. So really you could monitor... The BMS because it's Bluetooth. You can monitor the charge controller because it's Bluetooth. So between the two, you can kind of get an idea of what's going on with the system right from your phone. Like incoming power and what's going coming from the batteries. So and I will have a voltmeter on here somewhere as well. That will uh 
display the voltage of the battery pack so if you're in the room with it you'll always know what the battery pack voltage is but we do got temperature sensors these are gonna go in one of these holes somewhere we'll figure out the best place to put it without shorting anything out yeah it's coming along wish i had more time to do everything but Whatever, it is what it is. Thanks guys. I got this thing all welded up here. I just welded it on the inside, just so I don't get, it's much easier to grind out. I'm just gonna use this little deeper, kind of clean it all up in here, on the corners, and then I'll just round them off with the flapper disc or grinder. I tried to burn through a bit, not overly, but yeah, looks pretty straightforward still. And then I got these guys cleaned on the inside and just a light paint. That's all I'm going to do with them is that much paint. And next I'm going to drill the holes for the threaded rod to go through. I was even thinking I might put a just a straight plate on top of this here and then threaded rod. Hold it all on there and then... The wires will come through like a rubber hole or a rubber sleeved hole, something like that. Let's figure out how to uh, where to get them from. Yeah, and obviously they're gonna go through the lid as well. Yeah, maybe I'll see how much room's in there. Maybe I can put the posts inside, and just wires will come out. I don't know. We'll see. And maybe you could just take the lid off and then do up the wires and then run the wires through, put the lid back on kind of thing. And then the wires will go through the wire trough, <laughs> wire tray, whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to continue cleaning these up. I'm not going to weld the corners on the top one, only the bottom one. Just because this is holding some all the weight pretty much. And that one's just kind of for show. So, anyways, thanks guys. There we go. This part's all painted up now. Well, first coat. covers just go on top so put the bottom cover on first put this thing over top then put that one we'll sandwich it down and tighten it all together this is the bottom plate here <clears throat> now I figured I'm gonna make it interchangeable so I don't want it on the same holes because I always want this plate to be on the batteries, but the legs will be able to come off or on. So what I can do, well, what I'm probably going to do just for working on it and testing purposes is not put these legs on and uh, put a couple pieces of wood on here instead and then just screw it in from the bottom end. Still gonna make holes in the sides and all this stuff, so probably gonna weld the nuts to the to that case there. And you don't have to have someone on the inside holding it while you're trying to put the nuts on there. You know what I mean? Just for ease of purpose, I guess. Easy use. It'll be a little bit weird if you're going to take it apart. You're going to probably take it apart from the top. Top first and then. I'm still thinking I might put another plate of steel in here. That is roughly this size. 
but has the same bolt pattern that fits inside of that. And then the BMS can go on top of that. And the breaker can be in that area and the voltmeter will be in that area as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a bit of work still putting one of these together. Especially considering you gotta make every single piece, it seems, except for the battery part. I guess it could be fine just keeping it like that. There in a case. Not whatever. I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure for testing purposes that's fine to have it like that but if you want to put it in a nice place you know you kind of have it stuck on the wall you have a nice uh inverter that matches you know you could go with like a magnum or you could go with whatever i got one that will match this it's already set for all the set points for charging and everything it's an inverter charger so Anyways, thanks guys. Finally got this bottom tray on. There's a couple uh, screws in it there. One on this corner and one on that corner. Not so good I get some more, but that's pretty good. How I left it there. It's perfect. And then these two holes there, I can either have like a, some kind of leg to to hold the pack on the ground and then I'd still recommend putting those top braces on and then those will still get bolted to the wall to keep it st st stable if you're going to put it on the floor or something like that but if you just want to hang it on the wall I've got another set of brackets that will go in that place there which will keep them off the ground you know maybe you want to put it a foot off the ground foot off the ground and then you know the inverter can go a foot above that or six inches above the total box here yeah almost think about trying to slide that guy right on there <clears throat> i think i'm only going to put four screws and i'll just weld it just one in the middle all the way around on the top and the bottom so eight total about four so it'll be like one here one here and then <clears throat> I'm just screw that in it's not really uh it's not structural that thing I'm relying on these things mainly for the structural support but I was also thinking I might put a piece of foam in here or something like that some strips of foam just to in case it I don't know I don't even know if I need it or not. <coughs> I'd like to keep uh, anything flammable out of there. That's why I have that in there like that. So if this caught fire or something, it'll just burn inside the box. Hopefully it wouldn't burn through the box. Pretty hard to... It would get hot, I'm sure. It just... Uh, I don't think it would burn through. 16th of steel. And one cell, it's rated for a 200 amp discharge. So my breaker will click at 80, which is 20 amps a pack. So that's at max. Shouldn't even get warm. I don't think it's going to need any cooling or anything, especially if it's indoors. It'll be fine. Anyway, thanks. Is that ever going to be pretty? Lots of room in there. This cover will go on top.
sweet. Thank you, guys.